Hi, this is CC Cycle 1, week 23, sharing some memory work ideas. So for math this week, we are learning the distributive law. And so I actually have a couple ways written down in my planner here for how we've done this in the past. I know that the past two consecutive years, we have used the cadence call. And so we're gonna do that again this year because that's just what has been ingrained for me. But I do have another tune written down here and I'm not exactly sure where the idea came from, but I'll share both ways and you can pick whichever works best for you and your group. So the first one is the cadence call. I got this idea from, I believe, Funny Cheryl. I will have to confirm that and I'll post it down below in the description of the video, but it sounds like this. I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. The distributive law is good to know. The distributive law is good to know. A opening parenthesis, a opening parenthesis, B plus C close parenthesis, B plus C close parenthesis equals A B plus A C equals A B plus A C C C math week 23, C C math week 23, sound off, sound off, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's the cadence call, it's super fun, it's fun to do as a back and forth between you and your group, and that is one way that you could introduce the distributive law. The other way is a little more simple, it's just to the tune, oh be careful little eyes what you see, and it would sound like this. The distributive law states, A opening parenthesis, B plus C close parenthesis equals A B plus A C. And so uh, take your pick and I hope that's helpful. For English, we are learning the linking verbs for phase two. So, so far we've learned the definition of a linking verb to the tune of ants go marching. Then we had our first phase and this week it's seem, appear, look, sound. So it sounds like this. A linking verb makes an assertion by joining two words. A linking verb makes an assertion by joining two words. And last week we learned, fill, become, remain, taste. This week is, seem, appear, look, sound. And next week we'll learn the last part of that phase and we'll have the whole tune all together. So you could sing the first two parts of that kind of in a lower whisper. And then when you get to this week for seem, appear, look, and sound, just sing that a little bit louder. So again, it's seem, appear, look, sound. And tomorrow, stay, smell, grow, be. These are the linking verbs. Not tomorrow, but next week. Okay, that is English. For geography this week, we are learning about South America. And so last week I introduced the tune to surface pressure and uh, we did the west. So this week we're gonna be doing the east side and this is what it sounds like all together. So we have South America, Venezuela, Colombia, Oh, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, and Chile. Oh, oh, oh. Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, and Brazil, French Guiana, Suriname, Guyana. South America is pretty great. Oh, oh, oh. South America, Venezuela, Colombia. Oh, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, and Chile. This week, Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, and Brazil, French Guiana, Suriname, Guyana. South America is pretty great. Oh, oh, oh. And that is geography. Now, history this week actually goes hand in hand with that. So we'll do history directly following geography this week. We are learning about the liberation of South America. So what we'll do is we will have our class either point to these places. There are three different places that we learn in South America related to the liberation of South America, and that is Argentina, Chile, and Venezuela. So we will partner up and take turns coming to the front of the class, and we're actually gonna use these little play guitars because the song has guitar all throughout it. So we will pretend guitar as we sing the song, and then three times throughout the song, it stops and says, they fought. So we will use our guitars kind of like we're fighting with swords as we say they fought. And so two people will partner up to do that at the front of the class as demonstrating or performing the song for everyone while everyone else 
points to these places on their map. So Argentina, Venezuela, and Chile. Um, we may just have a third person come up and do that in the front of the class uh, to a map that is displayed for everyone to see. And that way um, we could do three rounds of singing the song and demonstrating, uh, pointing to those places. So that's how we're gonna do history and geography. For Latin, we are going to continue with how we've done it in the past. And what we do is we use our little action dice or silly voice cards, and we will just hold up that it's the fifth declension noun endings, and we'll pick silly voices or actions to do as we sing the Latin tunes for the fifth declensions. Uh, pretty simple. If you have any questions about that, I can share. The dice just have little actions on them, like hop, say it while you hop like a frog, or while you do the jumping jacks, or a crab, crab walk. Uh, it's, it's just funny different actions. Or the voice cards just have different silly voices to do it in. Opera voice, Farmer Ted, uh, it gives you all different kinds of options. So that is how we cover our fifth declension noun endings, and that will be fun for class tomorrow. And my little river is trying to say hi to us all. For timeline, we are moving into the age of information and globalization. Then we have Watergate and President Nixon resigned. So for that, we're going to put up a wall here, use our two fingers coming from our eyes and looking around like spies. So Watergate and President Nixon resigns. This is the sign for resign. So we're just going to do that. Then we have the fall of communism in Eastern Europe. Oof. And then we have uh, the European, the European <laughs> Union formed and apartheid. Uh, this is the sign for apartheid is abolished in South Africa. And next we have September 11th, 2001. And then last but not least, we have the rising tide of freedom, rising tide of freedom. And it says it twice, and so we'll start one down here. This is the sign for freedom, and then go back up and do it again a little bit higher. And that is all of our timeline motions. For science today, we have what are some types of clouds? So this makes me think of it's raining, it's pouring. That song makes me think of clouds because obviously that's where the rain comes from. Uh, but I thought we'd put it to that tune. Uh, it's raining, it's pouring, and it sounds like this. Some types of clouds are cumulonimbus, cirrostratus cumulus, and stratocumulus. Some types of clouds are cumulonimbus, cirrostratus cumulus, and stratocumulus. So if you want to, you could also kind of move your hands like those clouds. Cumulonimbus clouds are big and tall. They're vertical, right? So we could do that. Uh, cirrus are wispy, so you can make your hands like going like wispy clouds. Stratus clouds are thin and smooth, so stratus. And then we have cumulus, you could do puffy. And stratocumulus are low, just like cumulus, they're just lumped together and bigger. So stratocumulus, you can just make it get bigger. Those are just a few ideas for um, motions and then hopefully that tune helps you think of clouds as well. But that is everything for this week, week 23. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. And uh, for review, yes, for review, we are going to be doing um, these wax sticks, uh, wiki sticks, that's what they're called, wiki sticks. So each of the kids will get a color of wiki sticks or we'll just divide them up in the class and um, the kiddos will be able to create with wiki sticks as we review all of the last five weeks. And we will probably also be reviewing uh, some of the things that we have planned to present for our end of year celebration. So that'll take up some of our review time as well. But um, that's our plan for week 23. Look forward to seeing you guys next week for our last and final week for this cycle and this year, uh, week 24. So see you then.